we need to consider three main factors. First factor is the URL factors. Um, that means that we need to have preferably the, so the keywords within the domain name and having the keywords within the URLs. Also, uh, the domain name uh, has a life. So, um, if you're, it's a brand new uh, domain name, it will be more difficult than if you use a domain name with uh, a long existence. If your domain name is uh, being used for 10 years, uh, you have uh, some history on it, uh, then that's quite good. Better than having a brand new domain name, uh, then you have to do everything. Second factors, second type of factors are the on-page factors. So these are the factors of uh, everything within the pages. Uh, there you have the content, of course, the meta tags and the keyword density. Keyword density, that means that you have to, you have, to have a certain number of keywords within the page. If you uh, don't have your main keywords within the page, it will be more harder to have a good position. Uh, third uh, type of uh, factors are the off-page factors. There, there is nothing to see uh, within the page. Uh, these are only created uh, by the links you have uh, onto your page. Uh, and the better is to have the main keywords on your links from external websites. Still about the web page optimization. Um, so we are talking here about the on-page factors. Uh, you need to see uh, different things. First, the page title. You need to have your main keywords within the title. Then, within the body of the page, use the keywords and the main keywords within the H1 tags uh, in the page. And it's better to have the H1 tags with the main keywords and the top of the content within the body of the page. Um, then again, you can have within the body, within the content of the page, try to have uh, a few keywords, uh, the same keywords repeated two or three times within the description, within the main content of the page. Then if you have uh, an image, Give a good name to your image, use the alt tag to uh, put keywords again, the same keywords preferably, uh, within the image. And finally, use breadcrumb navigation. It's very good for uh, the ergonomy, uh, it's good for the people to see where they are situated in the website, and also it helps search engines to navigate and to crawl all your web page uh, using the breadcrumbs. And uh, more than that, you have also uh, probably the, more, the, the good keywords within the breadcrumb, so it's very good. So just a checklist before launching a new website, what you should do. Um, first, use a robot.txt uh, file. Uh, Gabriel uh, talked about that already. Use a sitemap. Gabriel <coughs> talked about that. Uh, <coughs> Don't use too much JavaScript and uh, try to uh, keep the JavaScript outside of the HTML file. Use always uh, SEO-friendly page titles, use proper meta tags, and do not use frames, again. Um, if you can, and if the site is quite important, uh, put a, a website map, uh, it's very interesting also. Uh, for the ergonomy, but also for the search engines. And finally, um, uh, use a 404 uh, error page, uh, a personalized 404 page. Uh, that way, uh, the search engines, when they get lost, they can uh, get new links to go across again the, the website. Uh, about the errors, uh, it's very important to handle that correctly uh, when you are moving from one version to a second version. Uh, I've seen a lot of time when you have a, an old website and just the, you come with the new website and all the uh, previous uh, pages are just uh, thrown away. 
then the search engines uh, are getting lost because they used to have content uh, at that place and then they, just, they are just lost. Then it's very important to have the 404, but also you can use um, the, uh, especially the 301 and 302. Uh, the 301 means uh, it's uh, on the server. You can tell to the search engine that way that the uh, content has moved. Uh, with the 301 uh, permanently, that means that if you have a complete new version of the website, uh, new pages, just use a 301. Um, if it's just temporary, use the 302. You can also use the webmaster tools to uh, review the crawl errors. Uh, that way you can uh, discover uh, broken links, uh, missing pages, and uh, you can fix it. Um, so uh, the webmaster, Google webmaster tools is quite interesting for that also. Uh, if you see uh, the broken links, then you can fix it, of course, again, using uh, the information provided by the Webmaster Tools. And uh, again, uh, again, I insist you have to have a personalized 404 page. With the 404 page, uh, you can personalize uh, it with your uh, own uh, graphical design, of course, but you can also use a Google widget uh, to redirect uh, the traffic. Now, uh, for the HTML code tips for the title meta, des uh, meta description, always use a unique title for each URL. Uh, it's very important and uh, you need to have your main keywords for the page uh, in the title, in the right language, and uh, use also uh, a good meta description and a unique meta description with, again, the main keywords for the page. About the meta keywords, well, they are not really used anymore. Uh, the search engines uh, still see, uh, of course, the content provided in the meta keywords, but the importance uh, of the meta keywords is so low that uh, it doesn't really matter to have different keywords from one page to another. Um, why it's important to have the keyword in the title tag? Uh, of course, the title will be the link um, uh, provided by Google and other search engines. So, that's, finally, that's the, the title of the page, and it's very important to have the main keywords within the title because, of course, when you search for keywords, if Google finds the same keywords directly in the title, it's quite good and uh, you can reach a good position. Um, about the duplicate content, um, well, that's a uh, an issue for search engines um, because uh, ch search engines don't like very much uh, duplicate content and will always give a preference to one of the page. Um, so if you have uh, duplicate content, try to avoid that and make uh, uh, unique meta descriptions, for example, for every page and unique title again. So, what if uh, you have uh, the same content but different URLs used to uh, give the same content and that you have uh, external links coming to different URLs? Uh, well, then there is a tip. You can use the link uh, uh, canonical uh, to say to the search engines what is your preferred version. Uh, that way you can avoid uh, to have uh, potential uh, ranking dilution on different URLs for the same content. Is that clear? <laughs> okay, so you have, in this example, uh, you have uh, the same page, but in the URL you have, well, first you have the, uh, only the item, then you have the uh, item plus a category. And the third example, you have the uh, item, the category, and uh, uh, an ID. 
these all uh, these URLs are exactly uh, uh, providing the same content. I mean, it's the same page, but if you come from one way or another way, uh, it will show a different URL. Then, as you have the same content, you have uh, ranking dilution. Uh, that means that if you have incoming links on the different URLs, you are just um, uh, a deletion of uh, the, the page rank on three pages, but for the same content. Then, if you want to avoid that, uh, and let's say that uh, you prefer to use uh, the uh, simplest uh, URL uh, only with the item, then you put on this page in the, in the head, uh, you put this, and uh, you say, okay, this is my preferred page, and uh, all the link popularity will go to this page and not the duplicates uh, URLs. Uh, 